Magic Eye shows the symbiotic operation of the robot dog Spot and the microwave radar unit. Symbiotic means that the movement of the robot in conjunction with the captured radar data steadily improves the image quality of the scene surrounding. Spot, the quadruped robot built by Boston Dynamics, is well known especially for its dance moves. But as soon as the visibility is limited, for example due to fog, it is clumsy like a human in total darkness. It introduces new challenges due to its kinematics, but also makes it possible to move the radar in a way which would not be possible with a mobile platform without an arm. In comparison to optic-based sensors, which are widely used in robotic applications, the radar provides a complementary even under virtually limited circumstances. At GQ's Department of OS Systems, we extend the spot with the new sense by means of a radar sensor, which allows him to see under complete darkness, heavy fog and even through light walls. This new sense of eyesight also allows him to navigate under harsh conditions. Technically speaking, we demonstrate two principles. The first one, SLAM, which stands for Simultaneous Location and Mapping, generates a radar map, which is used for further navigation. And the second principle, SAR, which stands for Synthetic Aperture Radar, combines the movement of spot in a symbiotic way to generate even better images. As an RF engineer, I'm used to work with invisible things like electrical signals or electromagnetic waves, which of course are not visible for the human eye. In this project we now have the possibility to make things a bit more visible. So this on one hand refers to SPOT, which is now capable to move around in dark areas or foggy or dusty areas, or he can even now look behind walls. During my PhD thesis, I was started uh, about synthetic aperture radar imaging for automotive application at Institute of Communication and RF System Engineering. In the Magic Eye project, I was able to further develop my knowledge and SAR technique to implement on an unusual platform with legs instead of wheels. For this reason, we should combine different sensors to localize the robot and create an image from the surrounding area. Everybody in our teams was so excited to see the new features of the spot. Legged Robot is a good example for mechatronic systems and in particular for the necessity to use a holistic design approach in the sense that we have to take care of the control system, the perception, that means the sensory part, the actuators, but also of the mechanics. And the, mechanic, the mechanical embodiment is an important aspect of, in particular, legged robots. In robotics, we speak of embodied intelligence, which means that the body itself, the mechanical system itself, is already exhibiting a certain robustness and stability, even without the uh, uh, control system. And that is important for legged robots, because you can imagine what happens, for example, if you break a leg, then still you can somehow walk, maybe not as good as you could with four legs, uh, but still you can do something. It's going to be an interesting topic in the future, um, working on that system is going to be a little good fun for students and for professors and of course there are lots of research problems that we are going to address in making such systems even more robust as they are today. To bring a new sense to a robot requires a broad understanding of both hardware and software. The study of mechatronics at JQ combines such knowledge in a unique form and allow students to realize novel systems at the forefront of radar and navigation technologies, which will be found in future applications like autonomous vehicles, at ground, sea or even in the air. Magic Eye is another example that technology can be fun, not even for the users of the new systems, but also for their creators.